Wagwan, it's Pert, man. So, there's just something that's been on my mind, man, because I was just at the gym. I had a nice session, yo. There was this guy up in there. We, we like, hit it off, you know what I mean? We were working out and shit. He's a cool guy. But, like, while we were working out, he seen a girl in the gym that he wanted to say hi to, you feel me? He was like, damn, she looked so good. He couldn't stop looking at her, so, you feel me? I was like, yo, go say something to her, bro. He ain't say shit, bro. He was like, nah, nah, I can't, I can't. You feel me? He's shy as hell. I'm like, yo. I can relate to that, you feel me? Because I used to feel like that back in the day. But that's like from an inner feeling of feeling like you're not good enough, bro. Because like, really, we're men, bro. We got to be chasing stuff. We got to be taking risks in life, you know what I mean? You see something you want, you got to go get it. That's just how it is. Nothing's going to come to us. How the hell is he going to get that girl if you don't say hi to her? That shit just confused me, bro. Because you know why we're insecure, right? About going and approaching women. It's because you don't value yourself, man. Shit, bro. You can't be valuing women above yourself, bro. There's no way you can be valuing women above yourself. The person who should matter the most to you is you. You are the ruler of your own universe, yo. I have a mentor. He, he tells me, though. There's no way you should be worshipping women. You got to be worshipping the man in the mirror, bro. Because the man in the mirror... That's the only person who matters to you. It just confuses me, man. I don't understand. You see that feeling you get in the bottom of your stomach when you see that girl that you're attracted to? Those butterflies, that nauseous feeling? That's the feeling that tells you that you got to do it. That's your body and your mind trying to like not get you to come out of your comfort zone. Because when we come out of our comfort zone, we grow. If you're never coming out of your comfort zone, you're not going to grow. Matter of fact, you're going to atrophy. You're going to be worse for it. Two scenarios here. There's a version of me who goes out there, take risks, approaches, you feel me? I'm not scared of like rejection or anything, anything like that or failing. And there's another version of me who's timid, scared of rejection, scared of taking risks. Who's going to reach further in life? I say all this to say... I know this is going to be a sensitive topic for some of you guys out there. You got to stop jerking off, man. <laughs> Don't worry. We've all been there, bro. Like, I was 16 too, fucking busting seven nuts in one day. You feel me? But, yo, you got to stop jerking off, bro. If you're over, like, the age of 19, 20, like, there's no way you should be jerking off. No way. You know that when you bust a nut, you get a, a feeling of comfort. Especially if you're watching porn, your body is going to, like, literally your mind is going to feel like you are actually having sex with these women when you're not. You're not. And that's why every time you bust a nut, you feel comfortable, you feel content. You don't realize when you go out the next day, you don't even, like, want to take a risk because you're like, oh, I'm comfortable. You're not meant to be comfortable. You're a man. You're meant to grow. Discomfort is when we grow. Just think of all the hard times you face in your life. Did you grow from them? If you made it through, then yes, you grew from them. Just think of all the things you avoided and then you regret it later. You see the version of me that goes out and approaches? He's gonna keep doing that. And regardless of if he gets knocked back or he fails a couple times, he's gonna keep doing it because he believes in himself. Because like I said, you are the ruler of your own universe. You gotta believe in yourself. Self-belief, that's literally like the paramount of life. Like, if you don't believe in yourself, you're not going to make it anywhere. You're just not. People see you how you see yourself. Your self-image is everything. And when you're tarnishing your self-image by doing stuff that is literally like making you feel horrible, like jerking off to your fucking screen all night, you got to stop doing that stuff. Stop viewing internet porn, dude. Like, that's like sexual exploitation. That's not even the worst part. The worst part is how it fucking changes your mind. You're not going to be able to fucking even be turned on by a woman. Dude, I remember when I was in college, I was like 19, dude. Like, I was a sophomore or a freshman, I want to say. I want to say freshman. There was like, this week, I literally like beat my meat so many fucking times. So many times. And then, by the weekend, I was hanging out with this chick. And one thing led to another. And like, we were supposed to have sex. And dude, your dick literally won't work. Because your mind is so fucking hyped up Because your dopamine levels have risen to a level Like that's not natural bro Because your body and your mind Think that you've literally been sleeping with hundreds of women When they're literally pouring 
I'm gonna just be transparent, yo. We've all been there, you feel me? We've all been there, man. But you gotta leave that shit in the past, bro. I'm not trying to come at my friend from the gym, but I'm just saying, like, what is it in him that makes him feel like he's not good enough? How are you gonna get stuff if you don't take risks? There was a homeless guy by the corner just now. I gave him the last bottle of water I had. He, he was like, oh, you got something to drink? I was like, yeah, I actually got a bottle of water and I gave it to him. You know what he said to me? He's like, you don't ask for it, you don't get it. And that shit been stuck in my mind because I was like, damn. Imagine if my friend who wasn't homeless at the gym fucking had that same mentality. That homeless guy, I guarantee he won't be homeless for long. He had a smile on his face, made eye contact and everything. Well, maybe he's just a confident bum or some shit, but it just, I used to be just like that, bro. Like, I would see girls I would want to talk to and I'd be like so intimidated. There'd be things I wanted to chase and I'd be like so scared to chase it because I didn't want to fail. You can't be like that, man. When you get that shift in your mind, then your life is going to become better. You got to take risks. You have to be the guy who takes risks. Let me tell you about the modern women, guys. These women are the same women who we've always had since way back when. Nothing changed. The only thing that changed is we, become, we became weaker. Us men, I'm talking. We became weaker. You know how they weed out the alphas? You guys keep talking about alphas and betas. It's not really nothing like that, bro. Like, there's doers and people who don't. You feel me? You gotta be a doer. You gotta do stuff in life. You know, I was talking to this girl the other day. And she, she was like, oh, you know how I know if a guy's like, really like a fucking confident guy or something like that, if he approaches me. I'm like, oh, so if you see a, a guy who's hot and he doesn't approach you, like, what do you think about that? And she said she literally loses interest in the guy. Think about that. So that's how they call out the weak. Only the strongest will survive. It's, that's how it's always been throughout the entirety of history. Something like 45 to 50% of men have never, never reproduced. Do you want to be in the statistic? Or are you going to take some risks? Are you going to go out there and chase your dreams? Or are you going to just sit down and watch from the sidelines? Now you know this information. What are you going to do about it? Hmm? The same passion you have for the video games. The same passion you have when you fucking plan your jerk off sessions. You fucking get tissue and lotion and shit. You know? Watching the weirdest shit because you have to keep up in your fucking um, sensitivity because like you have desensitized yourself so much that you literally can't get hard with a fucking real bitch. Granted, that stuff could change if you just stop watching porn for like a week or two, you'll go back to normal. But still, man, don't be destroying yourself. If you see a girl you like, go say something. Say hi. You're going to feel way worse if you go home and think about that fucking moment where you didn't say hi. You didn't take action. And now it's going to snowball into worse things. Come on, man. You got to take risks in life. Do it. Yeah.